Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite text effects that has become increasingly popular over this past year. I've heard multiple names for it. I've heard stretch text effect. I've heard deconstructed text effect. But either way, I'm going to teach you how to do this today in Illustrator. I'm going to break it down as simple as possible. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and check the playlist in the description for a playlist of videos similar to this. And yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into it. So right here, I'm in Adobe Illustrator. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to type in your text, obviously. So I'm just going to type in create. So for the text, I prefer wide fonts, but you don't have to use wide font. The font that I'm going to use in this video is called Havikia New LT Standard 93 Black Extended. This is typically the font I use in my thumbnails, if you guys were wondering. This is a paid font. However, I'm going to leave some alternatives in the description if you guys want. So once you type in your text, um, you can just press on the selection tool hold shift and drag and boom i'm gonna make it all caps though i think that looks better now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the text we're gonna go to type create outlines basically what this does is actually create an outline for each individual letter so you can see it now if i hover over you can see there's a slight blue outline uh, before it was just grouped together like this and it didn't have an individual one but now each individual letter has its own path which means we can modify it a lot easier next i'm going to select a rectangle tool and i'm basically going to create a rectangle over all of the text i'm going to explain why i'm doing this later so you want it to cover the entire uh, text so there you have it but with the rectangle we actually don't want to see it we're going to use it for another purpose so we're going to click on the rectangle we're going to go to the fill right here we're going to press on none and you want to do the same with the stroke so the strokes already none so you can't see anything right now so while you still have the rectangle uh, selected you want to go to object path and split into grid basically what we're going to do is we're going to split this rectangle into six five or six rows and essentially we're going to cut those rows into the letter using the rectangle so i'm going to go with six right now so now you can see what that does so um basically where you see the rows are where we're going to split the text but before we can do that, right now, um, there's two different layers. Right now, there's a layer with the rectangle and there's a layer with the text. Basically, we're going to have to sort of put them into one layer. Um, so the way you do this is you want to go to Pathfinder. If you don't see Pathfinder, you can go to Window Pathfinder and you want to click on the Divide option. And now if we press Control Y, which is basically um, the outline version of your project, you can see that their lines are there. And we want to remove the lines that are outside of the text. So we can press Y, which is the magic wand tool. And we can just select the background and press delete and then boom. So we press control Y. We can see the accurate preview. The control Y is the outline preview. And essentially what we're going to do is we want as many copies as there are rows. Because I did six rows on this text, I want to uh, copy it five more times, which will total up to six copies of this text. So you can either select the text and press control C, control V to paste. You can do that. You can also hold alt and drag down. It does the same thing. So I'm just going to do that and make it a little bit faster. I'm also going to align these all in the center right here. So you can go to window align and just click on the shortcut. It's the horizontal align center and boom, everything's centered. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to leave one row. That's so the top row right here. We're going to leave two rows for the second copy, we're going to leave three rows for the third copy until we leave zero rows for the final copy. Um, so what I mean by this is we're just going to highlight this all and delete up to the first row. And then we're going to do the same thing for this one. We want to make sure we delete everything under the second row over here. So you can even see this light um, path right here. We just want to delete that. If it's hard to see, you can just press control Y and you can see if you mess up. Um, so now for the third copy, we're going to delete up to the third row. So now we're on the fourth row, so we're going to delete everything below the fourth row. So if I press control Y, you can see that there's an error right here. It's because there's this slight line that I didn't delete. Same thing with here. I think that's fine. And then now we're just going to delete the last row. And there you have it. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to group each row and then we're going to shift them down so that so that they sort of stack on top of this row right here, the bottom row. So to group the row, you just want to highlight all of it and just press group. I think all of them are actually grouped already. No, this one's not grouped. What grouping it does is it just makes it faster when you want to shift it all the way down. 
but you can probably just highlight it and then move it down. But this just speeds up the process a little bit, makes it a little bit neater. So we're going to press control Y and we're just going to move down the text over here. We want to leave like a slight um, spot right here, a slight uh, gap right there. And you also want to make sure everything lines up. Obviously, um, this is a bit excessive because I did do six different rows. Um, I see a lot of people just do like two or three. And then now I'm going to highlight all of it. I'm going to group it and then I'm going to center it using these shortcuts. And lastly, the last thing you can do is you can highlight all the text and you can basically just change the color of the text by going to fill and selecting a color. I think the first row might be a little bit off. You can see it's a little bit offset, right? So I think that's good. And I'm just going to add a background real quick. And yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, what you could do is you can go the opposite way and you can sort of flip this. So instead of deleting from the bottom, you can delete from the top and you can do this same effect. If you guys are wondering how I did the color effect in the thumbnail, I basically just use Photoshop. I basically just pasted it in Photoshop and I added a gradient overlay. So you can go to blending options and go to gradient. And then there's a bunch of different presets you can use. Um, I thought that was just cool for the thumbnail, but yeah, you can do that too. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let me know if you like videos like these and I'll continue making them. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.